the best days of Web3 games are ahead because the new generation of game developers that are building these games are focused on building fun experiences first. In some ways, the first Web3 game or the first NFT game was Magic the Gathering. The whole premise of it is that people are gonna be trading cards and doing deck building and that there is in fact an open economy around the game. We know that, that these games work. Players love open economies. Being able to trade things in permissionless ways, uh, you know, makes games very vibrant, makes them feel very organic. Web3 and Mist and Labs' Sui in particular uh, provides the canvas for that open economy. The advantage of Web3 gaming for the player is to be able to own their asset. This is brand new. That will be a fundamental piece of why gamers adopt, and they need to see that. Players really own the object and they can trade it easily. To have this moment where something can be created and transferable and collectible and potentially rare is a big game changer in the ecosystem, both for teams and players and also devs. That item that you just bought in the game, would you prefer that you get to keep those and trade those and take them outside of the game? Or would you prefer that the developer owns those and they can take them away from you anytime you want? Like if you just position it like that, I think it's a no brainer. I don't think we've even tested the waters in terms of what types of new experiences we can create. Some of the newer gameplay modes like extraction based gameplays, like high stakes gaming, all get sort of amplified by using the blockchain. You can kind of have like games where uh, uh, users uh, might decide how the next level would look like. Uh, they can even like create the storyline. The future will be that there will be those games that are adopted on chain that are super popular. I think 2024 is going to be a pretty critical year for Web3 gaming. I see a lot of potential in the way that Web3 is going to change gaming.